Hi guys, this is Carrie with Crochet Me Nuts. Welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this heart ear saver. And it is crocheted in one piece, so you don't have to crochet hearts and then have to stitch them together. This is in one piece, and they're all facing sideways, but as you can see, they're very cute. And this is really cute for a little girl or for an adult, it doesn't matter. Um, so there is no multiple because we do make each we crochet each heart separately so what i suggest you do is again i'm using medium weight yarn which is the four medium size uh worsted weight size four four ply so if you're using the same the the hearts are going to be a little bit bigger as you can see if you're using a finer, thinner yarn, then you might have more hearts. But we just measure it depending on, you know, the amount of hearts that you crochet. So this is, for example, a seven and a half, which is about a good adult size. And I've made one that I need to finish, which has four. So I just need to sew the buttons in on this one. And this would be good for a little girl, I think. Five and a half to six. So yeah, that would be good for a little girl. Um, once it's, you know, they put it on the back of their head and the buttons are placed in there. So these don't, they will move once they're on. But I think four would be a good size for a little girl. But again, just measure it out as you go because there's no set amount of chains we're starting with. Like I said, we're going to crochet each heart individually. It is one piece, but that's how you measure it by the amount of hearts. So this is what it looks like and what we need. Of course, it's our yarn. I'm using again, like I said, the medium weight four ply worsted weight. Um, two buttons, which I've already sewn on here, two buttons, and we are going to use a five millimeter hook. Uh, you need a needle for your buttons at the end and you might need a tapestry needle for any ends that you need to hide and of course a pair of scissors all right guys so please don't forget to subscribe and check out all the links in my description box i have links to my instagram and my ebay store where there's a lot of crocheted gifts for sale everything's handmade and um just check that out on your way out okay so let's get started all right, so we are going to start with our slip knot. And you can leave a long tail uh, to sew in your button. I'm sorry, I keep knocking this. My stand is different for my camera and now I keep knocking it. Okay, so I won't do that because I'm just gonna do this for the tutorial, but normally I do leave a long tail because I do use the same yarn to sew in my buttons at the end. So if you do that, go ahead and leave a longer tail and we are gonna chain six. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start with four trebles into our fourth chain. So one, two, three, four, and if you've never made a treble crochet, it's very simple. So we're gonna wrap our yarn around the hook twice. And we're gonna insert our hook into that fourth chain. We're gonna pull up a loop. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And that's a treble. So let's do that three more times. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Two more times. And 
one more time. So now we have four trebles in that one, in that fourth chain. Okay, so now we're going to skip down to the fifth chain, so that following chain right below it, and we're going to do two double crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And one more time into the same chain. And now we're going to go down to the last chain and there we're going to put, we're going to crochet two single crochets. And that is half a heart. So now we're going to make the little point at the bottom of the hearts. So you can see it comes to a little point, that little point. So we're going to chain one and then we're gonna go down here to the the last single crochet you could see I'm just gonna pull out my hook to show you you can see these two little um, loops right there so we're gonna go down and slide our hook through those two like that and then we're just gonna slip stitch and that makes our little point Okay, so then we're going to repeat everything we just did, but in reverse. So here in this space where we made the two single crochets, we're going to go back in there and make two single crochets. In that space here where we made our doubles, we're going to put two doubles. So we're just mirroring everything we made before. And now up here. In that space, we're going to put our four trebles. I'm going to start pulling them down a little bit so you have room. Okay, so one more treble. And now we chain two and we are going to slip stitch right back into that space. And that's your first little heart. Okay, so we are going to continue on to the next one. So after you slip stitch, we're going to chain seven. And we're gonna do we're gonna repeat the same thing we did with this one so we're gonna do four trebles into the fourth chain so one two three four go and now we're gonna go down to the next chain I keep getting tangled up here gosh okay um, right down to the chain below it and we're gonna put our two double crochets into that chain and then right down to this one we're gonna do two single crochets chain one and we're gonna make the little point so again go down to those two little loops and slip stitch and 
now we go this is the tricky part is <laughs> carrying the little hearts once you make more then they start getting in the way just like the flowers that we've made in the past when you're making them all in one then that's when it starts to get tricky but just try to keep it out of the way so we right here in that space you can see where we did the singles we're gonna put two single crochets where I did our doubles right there we're gonna put two double crochets and then back up to our space there where we did our trebles we're gonna do four treble crochets so this is the repeat guys for the rest of the way so you make as many as you need to get the length that you need depending if you're making it for a little girl or for an adult one more so go ahead and continue this I'm gonna make two more because I think I'm gonna make it for a little girl and then chain two and slip stitch And then we chain seven and we repeat so go ahead and continue that and I'll be back after I finish with my fourth all right guys so I finished my fourth and now you can if you're done crocheting your hearts then you can go ahead and fasten off I'm gonna make it for a little girl so I am going to cut here and just fasten it off and then we just kind of lay it flat and make sure that they're all facing the right way. And there is that. So now you would sew in your buttons. And there you go. That's your little heart ear saver. And this is also really cute if you want to make a headband for, for a little girl. So that is it, you guys. That was not hard at all very simple and I do have another style of the hearts which are facing um, forward facing forward so they're not tipped on their side they're actually right side up so they'll be you know little hearts so I'll put that out tomorrow but I want to start with this one this one's really pretty and uh, I hope you guys liked it so thank you guys for watching today I hope you enjoy the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments any suggestions or anything you want to see please do leave a comment below and please be safe take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys